6th August 2020. Hard to believe it's been seven years since I had a web page. Two and a half years since I've been on Facebook. But here I am. I'm excited to be back. Good to see all the names again and hear from everybody and I want you to know that a lot of my projects are still here. Still having fun with them. This is the week that my grandson comes home, my daughter and my son-in-law, and we have such fun with these little projects. And we all always make a new ones. And I'll just give you a quick little rundown. Here's the old Cub Cadet with the big tires. This thing can go about 15 or 16 miles an hour. It's, I love this little tractor. And here's my new X590 riding lawnmower. I love this thing. One of the old first John Deere trailers I made. I have three round fender John Deere tractors and I made a round fender sulky to match them. Here's one of the little four wheel wagons that I had for a lot of years and I love this little wagon. They're just a little flat cart that I've never hardly ever used, but we decided to put a, a John Deere flag on there. And here's the, the back of the hot rod snowplow, a walk behind snowblower conversion. We unhooked that today just for the for the train, the John Deere train. And here's a little project I built this just the other day for my grandson with Minecraft on it and it's just something for for the little caboose for our little train. And then over here. We got another one of my favorites that I built several years ago. This reminds me so much of the tractor that I drove a lot out on the farm. I always love dual wheels on the tractors. I couldn't wait till we put the duals on. I always love the narrow front tractors. this for my grandson several years ago when he was I think four or five years old uh, we just put a new engine in it and uh, my son-in-law almost tipped it over but uh, we have a lot of fun and a lot of laughs with these little tractors it's just crazy they've never been out of my yard none of these have ever been to a toy show a tractor show or been out of my yard so to share them on the internet is, is just fun the next one, some of you may remember, is the Bolin. This was a front mount mower. I put big tires on it, took the mower off, and built a snow plow for it. Put a chrome exhaust stack on it, built a console, put some lights on there, built the whole back housing, and uh, it, it thing will turn on a, on a dime for sure. The, cut, the tires almost touch when you turn it as sharp as it will go. And then we'll come over here. I'll push this out in the sun. This is the other half of the salty. And uh, some of you remember the old YouTube videos of these common snow with it. And uh, it did a really good job. And then here is my daughter's tractor. This is mine. And uh, she just put an order in yesterday that she's not real happy with. Ah! She wants Dad to redo it pink with glitter. tons of glitter on glitter. it. Glitter. Glitter. So she's never asked me to do anything special for her, and I've done everything for my grandson. And that's either I'll find another one, because this is really, the body's in pretty good shape. But if not, I'll do what she wants, because she very she's a very good daughter she has very little I'll, I'll ask not to destroy this one we'll try to find another one I like this one as is we'll find another one and you all remember this one the old, this one's famous this is the most famous one with probably two million visitors two million hits around the world and I love this little tractor got the Dagelman blade it angles it plow snow I built a winter cab for it, but I did, I hated how it looked with the cab on it, but I still have the, if we ever took it to a toy store, I still have the, 
this, this, the back of it and everything would go back on to look to the right scale. You remember all, it was built from a Steiner and it's got 957 hours on it. And when I bought it, it had like 952 hours on it. So in all the years I've had it, it's only got five hours on it, which is low for a Steiner. They go a long ways. That's a good, good tractor. And then we go over here. And you just, you think, well, that's nothing. It's just a zero turn mower. Well, you want to come around this way yep. and out of the sun? But I didn't buy it for a zero turn mower. I bought it to tweak it. Like I tweaked everything else. And uh, some one of these days, it'll be something different. Probably in a parade, even. And here, over here, I built for my X758 diesel. I do a lot of snow blowing with it. In fact, it's all, it's the only, it's my winter tractor. I don't, I, it doesn't get used. It's four wheel drive and I build a cab for it. I just, uh, I'm almost 70 years old and that, that, that winter, those winter winds just get the howling, snow and blowing snow. And so then we got a couple more little projects over here. Open that up. Sorry about the road noise, guys. We're on a very busy road, so. It is what it is. Deadly. And here's the gator. Bought this for $150. It was set underwater in Lake Michigan. Some guy was golfing and made a wrong turn. Drove it into Lake Michigan, set underwater, and destroyed all the electronics in it and all the batteries in it. So I converted that to a twin cylinder 18 horse hydrostatic gas engine so and then we got a uh, so a couple more projects out back but we'll catch them on the next video